James. Last week I did a Q&A on my Instagram. I received so many questions about hair, life, Kardash, Love Island, but I'd answer them for you now. Let's get to it. Michaela asks, what hair care routine do you recommend for dry hair I'm trying to grow slash nourish? Well, Michaela, I would recommend a hydrating hair care routine from start to finish for about a month, then I would switch to your protein base and then alternate that between month on, month off. Try to lay off your heat tools as much as you can. If you do use your heat tools, I would recommend a heat protector product. I would look for trusted brands that say heat styling protector. Anything cream based, I feel it's gonna nourish a lot more from that through your mid lengths and ends. Whatever else you got left on your hands, smear that over all your little baby hairs here. I don't know if you have baby hairs or not. That's what I would do. Emma House asks, what do you think is the best type of length and cut for super fine hair? So I would personally go for something super blunt, depending on what your face shape's like. I am all for little, sh oh my phone. I would go for anything blunt based through the bottom of your hair. I'm really into the bobs at the minute, but depending on what your face shape is like, rounder, I would go for a little bit more like a lob. Thinner through the sides of your hair, I would definitely chop that shorter for you. And just blunt, no layers. Nikayla asks, best product for long frizzy hair? Having long frizzy hair myself, what I would go for, I usually mix a lot of my products together because my hair just soaks it up and really drinks it. So I would mix an aftercare product that's cream based plus a serum. I would use a small ratio to start, get the feel of it, up your ratio depending on what works best for you. Pippa Roberts says, I said thank you as you have changed my hair and I love it. Well, thank you so much, Pippa. In this industry, it is sometimes super hard to gauge. Your clients are actually happy with their hair, so that means a lot to me. Thank you. Laura first, can you have barley braids for your wedding? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Tim Langsford, What's your favorite tea flavor? Well, I'm currently trying sage tea at the minute. I've never tried it before, but I have really bad problems with my gut and bloating, so it's really hard for me to find that tea that I love for my tummy. I'll let you know how it goes. Wonderlust Coconut says, where are you finding wedding dress inspiration? I'm struggling to find a dress. Um, I would say Instagram mainly in your discovery section and sometimes it actually has some really good options. As you keep scrolling, you find elements of different dresses and then you can kind of incorporate them into your dream dress. I've actually just secured what I want, but you're gonna have to wait and see. Chloe Kate, I would love to be one of your hair models. Thank you so much for bringing this up. Any Perth-based models, anyone that's interested, please DM me. Everything goes straight through to my content creator, interstate or international models. I'll put a post up on my story. So if a tutorial comes up that suits your hair type, we'll get in contact with you. Lizanne Cabrera, is it possible to achieve natural looking high slash baby lights on a natural brown hair? Well, I would say that anything's achievable, I would put your integrity of your hair first without damaging your hair, but it's definitely possible. She also said, any recommendations slash tips on how to make curls last on naturally dead straight hair? It really depends on the client's specific hair type. Generally, I would prep the hair with Rootful 06 in Redken. They find that that gives that little root lift, that grit to your hair. I would then apply to your mid lengths and ends something quite light because I don't want that you don't want anything too heavy that's going to weigh the hair down so maybe just an all soft serum and then go in curl your hair another product I love in Redken is quick tease spray about 30 centimeters away so then it gets that hold without ruining the shape Lizanne also asks do you take on clients with natural dark slash black hair Yes, of course. So I actually do really love playing with dark hair. 
people do think I'm such a blonde girl, but I do like to play with dark hair as well. Sage Hair & Co, you're amazing. Do you offer any education classes or shadowing programs? Um, <laughs> my content creator is trying not to laugh at me. So this is a tricky one because I'm actually quite shy in front of the camera, but it's definitely a goal of mine to teach you guys what I love about hair. And I do love learning as well, and I would love to give that back to you guys. So watch this space. April, what is the best little hair do in humid weather? How do you tame the frizz? Well, I tend to usually pop my hair up in a little slick bun with a scrunch. Um, so that's my look one. I have also been using silk hair scarves. It does kind of tame that frizz out. So then if you want to go out in the night, unveil the silk scarf and it's really not that frizzy. If you do want to wear your hair down though, little half up, half down, serum every second of the day, keep a serum in my backpack, fanny pack, always handy to put through those mid lengths and ends of mine. But if you're in Bali, I would go visit the Blow Bar for a little treat. It's a little Bali pamper. Ellie, who is your favorite housewife and why? Well, I've got a lot of housewives. I'm obsessed with the real housewives. Currently, I am obsessed with Lisa Renna. I am finding her super funny this season. It's just wild, she's one of the girls, and she really just doesn't care what people think of her. So she's my inspo. Jess asks, what's in your kit? Well, I'm actually gonna film soon a what's in my kit and go through everything, break it down, why I use it, when I use it, and I'm excited to show you guys. I'm gonna show you my three fave things I have in my kit. These products are my fave things I cannot live without my little flat clips totally obsessed with seeing them everywhere um, I use them all the time I actually sleep with these on. I kind of sleep with them I just got like these and I sleep like this Brock's always like what the f no <laughs> what are you wearing but I don't care I mean if it does the job does the job fringe is fresh and you can get them from Alan White also another Alan White tool I use. This is a wise part brush. This is a size 40 G4. I'm obsessed with this size because it's really easy to handle, smooths out the hair like crazy. You need one. Also love a wide tooth comb. This isn't my fave one, but I've left my other one at work. This is super, super easy to brush out your waves. Gives it that real natural, but still fluffy texture. Yeah, it's my fave, one of my faves. The Fashion Club. What shampoo and products do you use? Well, I am currently so obsessed with Purology at the minute. Love how it's vegan, sulfate free. I've never actually found a product that I can wash my hair and feel like I don't need to put a serum in. And this does the job. Currently using the Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner, sometimes a mask for my treatment. The Fashion Club also asks, what do you get done on your hair? Oils, question mark. I would usually get my hair colored twice a year these days. Yeah, I usually generally get foils. I do like that lived-in feel, so nothing too crazy. I like it a little bit lighter on my hairline. Yeah, just a general freshen up, really. Julia asks, what's your favorite Kardashian? 100% would have to be caught. Totally obsessed with her, always have, always will. Totally obsessed with her poosh headscarf at the minute. Her collagen powder, I'm just obsessed with the whole thing, really. She's my girl. <laughs> Oren, fave series. Well, it's just a funny one because I'm such a reality girl. Love all reality, hey you, all of that. But then I'm super obsessed with like crime, Queen of the South, Power, all those like shows as well. Depends what mood I'm in really. Gabby asks, marry kill boys from the hills too. Well, Pamela Anderson's son, Brandon, where the hell did he come from? He would have to be my... <laughs> This is a hard one, Mary, I don't know. Like, they're all a bit dodgy, aren't they? Maybe Spencer, because he's lasted a while with Heidi. I would have to say kill <laughs> Brody. Don't Jess, because that's her fave. But I don't like Brody because this really hasn't changed from season one to now, like 10 years ago. Like, get it together, we're growing up. Jess asks, fave Love Island character, question mark. Mary Kill, um, Tommy. I love Tommy, always have, he's such a sweetheart. Oh no, I wanna marry Tommy. Yeah, I wanna marry Tommy. 
Um, actually, I think I would marry Curtis. I think I'd marry Curtis. I think he's so cute. He'd be such a good hubby to me. Kill. I've never been a fan of Anton. Never been a fan of him. Oh, can we do girls? Oh, I don't like Anna. She's not my girl. I don't like Anna at all. She's a bit cringy. <laughs> Jace. Did you watch Lohan Beach Club series? Traj. Ha ha. No, I didn't. Didn't watch that, but if you think it's trash, then no, I won't won't be watching that one. <laughs> Demi asks, what do you think Court thinks of Sophia in the clan? I personally think deep down she's not into it. She never likes her pics because I'm a stalker. <laughs> so I don't think she's down with it. Yeah. Joyce, fave Kylie Jenner kick would have to be when she took her girls away for Kylie's skin recently on a boat in her bikinis. Kim asked, I'm growing my hair for my wedding. Eek. What should I do in the lead up so it looks amazing? Definitely trims, 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 baby trims. Always recommend them. It will actually help your hair to grow more. I know that that sounds very weird because you're trimming it, but getting those split ends off really does make a difference. Treatments, I would definitely recommend PH Bonder. If you are unsure about what PH Bonder does, I'll write up a little post of what it does for your hair and why you should be using it. Billy, any hair supplements slash healthy things to eat for the best healthiest hair. I actually have a post in my highlights about what's the best foods to eat. Supplements, I have been reading up about the JS Health hair supplements. I actually haven't used it yet, but the reviews about it seem really, really good. I'll um, put up a post about the JS Health as well, and you can read up about it. I also believe collagen powder is really, really good for your hair growth. Healthy hair, healthy skin. If you are vegan, vegetarian, there are options for those as well if you're on medication especially for your skin it is really good also just to give those nutrients back emelina asks teach us how bella hadid gets her hair snatched when she actually has the radius locks get yourself a jan atkin i would say <laughs> casey asks what's your all-time favorite housewives series um beverly hills i love beverly hills but I actually do miss the old school New Jersey with Teresa Judice. Else Fisher asks, how did you get into hairdressing? Um, it's actually one of those, I really just didn't want to go to school moments. I have always played with hair though since I was year three. So it's definitely been a passion of mine when I was a super, super little girl. I've always had big hair, so at a young age, I had to really try and manage that when I was little. And I always found myself just really, really loving it. Yeah, and I went to TAFE straight away when I was 15 and I've been growing ever since. Imelana asks, what's the best way to get that defined face framing, like that point from the part down to the blonde end? I, I would say a really fine foil placement and then a tip out on the ends. Chris Cross asks, how do I make my hair look amazing from a day by pool to a night out in Bali? I would say the whole silk scarf thing is awesome during the day because the humidity isn't touching your hair, so it's kept all nicely in that little scarf. Unravel, wear your hair out wild or chuck it up in a cute little bun. If you do go swimming, a wet look is also really hot in the night. Just make sure you bring a salt spray, serum, even like a men's light gel to mix in with those products or just chuck it in a slick bun. <laughs> Izzy asks, what are your shampoo recommendations for fine hair that gets greasy easily? Definitely volume. I would go for more a volume shampoo, but then a hydrating conditioner. But then you're keeping your hair moist on your ends, but then your roots are nice and fluffy. Your conditioner, just your mid lengths and ends. Or even just grab a dry shampoo for those days that you don't want to wash it. And two shampoos always. Angela R, what products do you use on your hair to keep it so long and healthy? Smooth Perfection, heat protector, always. Serums, one little hair tip I do is I apply serum to my hair morning and night. Leave off the roots though. Sam Lauren asks, any suggestions for hair loss? This is a tricky one because you really do need to pinpoint why. Sometimes it can come down to the foods you're eating, stress, any of those things, 
reasons, but I would definitely recommend going seeing a doctor. They know a little bit more about the internal aspects of hair loss. Check out my highlights, I touch on this. But yeah, I would recommend seeing a doctor. Jessie asks, what is your opinion on hair education? Is it worth it? Question mark. I would highly recommend on hair education. This is something that I believe in tremendously. You can never stop learning in this industry. You just have to keep pushing, keep pushing new trends, new techniques. This is something that your clients want to see you do as well. It's exciting to go to these things and it inspires me, especially for those stylists that work out there on their own. They don't have people around them to inspire them every day. So I would encourage you to go just to keep that motivation. Have fun. Abby asks, what advice do you have regarding social media? For me personally, I think it is so important to invest in yourself as a hairstylist, whether this be social education or working with someone you can trust who is passionate and gets it. For me, I have Jess, who is my hype man, life coach, friend, content creator, filming this right now. <laughs> I would highly recommend trying to find your someone. And it's important, we're a team, we push each other. It just gives you someone to face challenges with, you're not on your own, bounce ideas off. It makes you feel like you're in the know, you know? Yeah, you're in the know. Sorry guys if I didn't get to your question, but I feel like I've touched on everything. I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me so far. I honestly didn't expect you guys to be so interested. It honestly really does mean the world to me. And like I said, I am super shy. So it honestly keeps pushing me to produce more, learn more and giving back to you guys. So thank you. Please let me know your feedback on this. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to.